On Pet Corner this morning, we are looking at the ever more popular exotic pet and to help with what we need to think about if looking to have one join a family. Please welcome to the Harvey Normal Lounge Pet Doctors Vet, Alan Yang. Alan, good morning. Morning, Mel. Nice to have you here. Uh, what type of animal is an exotic pet? Because when I think exotic, I think instantly of snakes. Yeah, oh well, very thankfully we don't have snakes in New Zealand, Good. whether in the wild or as pets. So I don't have to worry about them either. So no snakes. So <laughs> no what are we snakes. talking about then? What are some examples? Yeah, so exotic pets, uh, often, I get asked that a lot. People often think about tigers and lions, but uh, we work with mainly birds, birds including uh, small parrots and chickens, mm -hmm. uh, and then reptiles including lizards and turtles. Uh, and small mammals, so quite a big range here. What's it like, uh, rabbits, rabbits and things? Yeah, rabbits, guinea pigs, chinchillas, uh, rats and mice. I don't really think about a rabbit as being exotic, but I guess it is a little bit different, isn't it, still? Yeah, I guess uh, when we think about exotics, it's really anything other than cats and dogs. Okay. Uh, because in vet school, we do only learn uh, mostly focused on cats and dogs, and I guess uh, the large animals, uh, cattle, uh, that's a whole different one, isn't it? Yeah. And horses, yeah. Yeah, because most people are in the central city are not going to have a large cow for a pet. Uh, do exotic pets, or exotic pets, are they easier to look after than cats and dogs? Uh, unfortunately, not. Uh, there's a lot of work that needs to go uh, into looking after exotic pets, and it's because um, they haven't been around the human uh, species and environment for as long. Mm -hmm. Cats and dogs have been domesticated over thousands of years. Uh, most exotic pets have only been around for maybe a few decades. So there are a few different things that need to be factored yeah, in. Yeah, absolutely, yes. What about special housing and food to keep them healthy? Yeah, it is very important for housing and diet uh, to be right, to have a healthy animal. Um, so in terms of uh, housing, we want uh, animals to be in a suitable and clean environment. So what I mean by that, I guess uh, rabbits should have access to grass, uh, should be in hutches, uh, turtles, in terraria uh, turtles in aquariums, reptiles in terrariums, and birds in suitable cages. And diet as well. Uh, I guess, yeah, a lot to cover here really, but uh, basically they all need specialized diets. Mm. So a lot of work needs to go into uh, you know, reading up yeah. on what exotic pets need. And yes. what they actually need. Yeah. So a terrarium, that is half aquarium, half... Uh, no, terrarium is, uh, is a, a land-based setup. Oh, okay. Yeah, like terrain. Right, so they don't necessarily the have to have any water in the no, apart no water for drinking. No water in the terrarium, yep, that's okay. correct. Okay, yeah. I'm just trying to get it clear in my head. So mm. if people are wanting to get or buy an exotic pet, where should they be looking? Uh, I guess uh, they are sold at various pet stores um, and breeders. Uh, we do have some very responsible breeders that come to us and ensure their animals are healthy before being sold. Uh, so yeah, if you come to us, we can make recommendations. Uh, but the most important thing, Mel, is that uh, you want to bring the animals in to the vets for a health check uh, when you first get the animal. So is there a special vet that you go to for exotic animals? Yeah, absolutely. So uh, us uh, at Pet Doctors in St. Luke's, uh, we have a team of four vets uh, that have had further training uh, to deal with the exotic pets. We also have special equipments uh, to help deal with these very small creatures. So what sort of special issue. equipments do you need? Like tiny little, oh, yeah, little just, thermometers? <laughs> uh, thermometers unfortunately come in one size. Poor animals. Which is yeah, a, bit, <laughs> yeah. a bit cruel if you think about it. Um, but yeah, I guess uh, operating tools, dental instruments, um, yeah, things like that. Yep. Are you one of the exotic pet vets? Uh, yes, yes I am, yeah. So are you the cool vets? You must be because you get to play, you know, play <laughs> and, and be with all these different animals. Yeah, yeah, a bit different. Yeah, definitely makes for better work stories even among the vets. <laughs> I bet it does. Yeah. And so you should be taking your, um, your exotic pet in for a yearly check like you would your cat and dog? Um, yeah, we do advise the yearly health check. Uh, very importantly, um, we also uh, recommend vaccinations for rabbits. Uh, and uh, just a note that um, uh, rabbits, uh, there is a virus that we vaccinate against, the Khaleesi virus. Yeah. Um, and uh, it is also used to actually get rid of uh, pest rabbits. And they are due to do a release in the South Island uh, to obviously control the population right. of wild rabbits. So I do think it's very important for people, rabbit owners in the South Island to get their rabbits up to date with vaccinations and especially eventually in the North Island as well. Okay. Yeah. But uh, for exotic pets, yeah, we advise uh, for all other animals for them to have uh, parasite checks uh, regularly. Yeah. Okay, so if your pet gets unwell, take it straight to the doctor? 
the vet yep. doctor. Yeah, that's the exotic that's right. vet doctor. Yeah, very, mm. very important point there um, because yeah, exotic pets they are usually prey animal species, uh, so they learn to hide their signs and they're very small as well. So anything that happens does tend to deteriorate mm. a bit more quickly. So very important to uh, recognize the sign. Anything that's unusual. Yeah, get them to the vet because they don't like to look like they're sick, do they? Because they're prey animals. So well, that's yep. fascinating, actually. Yep. Hey, Alan, thank you so much for coming in today. Oh, no problem. And for more information on owning an exotic pet, you can go to nzpetdoctors.co.nz. And now to our pet of the week. Congratulations to Pedro, the blue-eyed fish. A fish, I love that. A $50 to spend at petpost.co.nz is on its way to your owner, Jenny Murdoch from Auckland. And if you would like to enter your pet, and it can be any type of pet, exotic or otherwise, just upload a picture to our Facebook page.